Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll show you how to set dynamic properties in objects in JavaScript. Before, when creating objects in JavaScript, you always have to use static properties. What do I mean by static properties? Let's see this object here called obj. You need to have static properties as the key names. So I can have, for example, name. I can call this JavaScript. I need to have maybe another static property like platform. And I can call this YouTube. Any property I want to pass here, it has to be static. And this object all through this code is going to have those same set of properties because they are not dynamic, they do not change, they are static. But what if you want to pass dynamic properties in an object? Well, you can do that and this is possible because of the computed property names feature in ES6. The computed property names feature allows you to set computed values as key names in object properties. And I'll show you what I mean here. So first, let me declare a variable called variable and I'll assign this the name string. Set another variable called age with a value of 10. I'll set a prop one and I'm going to give this prop one age is less than seven. I'll set a prop two and I'll call this age is more than seven. Coming to this object here, instead of using the name property static like this, I can use this variable here. How do I do that? I do that using square bracket. In this square bracket, I can pass any expression here and the value that is evaluated from that expression would be used as the key name for the property. So I can pass this variable here and this whole block here would be replaced with this name string as the key name. And for the platform, I'm going to remove this and use a different example. I'm going to pass a square bracket here. This square bracket accepts any forms of expression, not just variables. So you can use function calls, you can use whatever you call an expression in JavaScript. I'm going to pass a conditional expression here so you can see how that works. So I'm going to say if age is greater than seven, return prop two, else return prop one. And I can just give this a value of true. I'm going to log this object in the console so you can see what result that gives. Extend this a little, run this with node, node test. You can see that this expression here is replaced with name and it has the JavaScript value. And this expression here, age is greater than seven. So age is 10. Since it is not greater than seven, it's going to use prop two, which is age is more than seven, which you can see here. Now, what if I change this variable to something else? Let's say I call it a uh, username and maybe I call this age five. If I run this file again with node, you can see this has been replaced with username JavaScript and this a conditional expression now returns the prop one, which is age is less than seven. As you can see, using the computer property names feature in ES6, we're able to create an object with dynamic properties, which can change in the source code and doesn't always have to be static. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also subscribe for more simplified content.